very good. Very productive day. Might as well continue it right here. Alrighty. What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Sword and Shield walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we won our fifth badge right here against, uh, well, that old lady, Granny. I don't remember her name. And she told us to return to Hammerlock because we got a little something to do right here. Now, off screen, yes, I took both teams from both Sword and Shield to do some Poke jobs, and trust me, they got their levels boosted. Take a look at this. My Pokemon are stacked. Now, we are in Pokemon Shield right now because, uh, well, we got a few evolutions that I kind of want to showcase right here. Don't worry. I'll be flip-flopping back and forth. Uh, and then, yeah, once we get to the next gym battle, it's going to be a double gym battle because, of course, you know, ice and ground type gym leaders. But as you can see, my Pokemon are at a good enough level right now because of the Poke jobs that I sent them out for. So now let's continue on right here in Hammerlock. Once you get back to Hammerlock right here, you will be finding uh, a few interesting people. Well, a few in uh, familiar people. So I'm just going to be riding the bike just to get back. You actually have to get back in front of the castle right here in order to find these guys. So, as you can see, Bede is waiting for you. He's looking on to the castle. He doesn't look very happy at all since he got disqualified from being a challenger. Come to gawk at me now that I've my I had my van, my challenge ban taken away from uh and my challenge gym challenge challenger to the can't even say anything right. God dang it. Challenge ban taken away and my gym challenger status revoked. Yes, I am kind of a uh, you know gloating a little bit because you suck, man. You 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 just you're just a bad person. Can you really afford to waste time like this? Of course. <laughs> well, I suppose so. You no longer have uh, to worry about catching up with me after all, buddy. I don't, I didn't need to catch up to you. I didn't need to catch up to you. You just I don't even know. I'll have you know though, I haven't given up. I must become the champion in order to help out the chairman. I will go and ask him to let me rejoin the gym challenge. Ooh, would you look at that. And, well, Opal is here. And she's like, hmm, that boy. Oh, uh, well, he does that. And, uh, now that's what I call pink. So sincere and straightforward, yet so twisted and misguided. I like it. That's the kind of thing that gives me, uh, gives some people depth. He looks and seriously, I thought Opal, or I thought <laughs> I thought this kid was a what was it was a chick and everything. But Opal here is like time for my gym mission, child. Huh? What? Oh damn! She oh damn! Pink, pink, and pink. Congratulations, child. That is scary. That is scary. She ran fast. Man, the arthritis really kicked in on her, huh? Miss Opal? What in the world has gotten into you? You were used by Ali Alenio, am I right? You work hard to gather wishing stars for her, only to have her throw uh, have her throw you away like a rubbish once she was done with you. Come with me, child. I might be able to help you out. Of course, it all depends on how much hard work you're willing to put in, too. Are you... Are you testing me? Very well, I accept. In fact, I plan on making sure that you see my full talents and tell me everything you know about the Wishing Stars. Farewell now, child. You should head. Uh, you should head to uh, Church Church uh, Sir or Kirchester, Kirchester, Churchester. I don't even know how to say it. I can take you uh, how, or I can take it. You know how to get to Route Seven. And she's walking slowly. This guy being a smug. You know what? And, well, that is pretty much it right there, guys. So, on to Ch Search Chester. Or Ch I don't even know how to pronounce the name, but we have to go straight to Route 7. So, let's go right ahead and do that. Riding our bike, getting all fast and everything. And right before we do anything, well, hello, hello there. Our girlfriend Sonya is like, Hey, yeah. or hey, yeah. the badge collecting going well? I've been doing some research on the ruins in the stow inside. The Sword and Shield. What kind of Pokemon were they, and wh and where are they now? I still have many questions. I was thinking about taking another look at the tapestries in. The hell was that? Oh damn, that was scary. Are you kidding me? 
What was that? Oh, damn. And it's up in the castle right there. Hammerlock Stadium shook. That's where Chairman Rose's power plant is, isn't it? Huh? A power spot? You mean like when you were to Dynamax? That's right! The power spot detector reacts when it's possible to Dynamax. Hey, Sonya! And Draven, too! You felt the shaking, right? Seems Chairman Rose is testing, it's testing something again. This is bad. Pokemon might start Dynamaxing right in the middle of Hammerlock. Is that so? I can make sure that the Chairman knows. You'll just get lost, Leon. I'm going to. <laughs> wow. I'm really looking forward to seeing you compete in the finals. So you should leave the investigation on this quaking to the adults. Head to, uh, what was it? Head to Sir, or is it Sir, or? Kirk? No, it's Sir. Sir Chester and get that gym badge. Okay, so Sir Chester, we are gonna go. That is scary, and, uh, come on. <sighs> oh, Draven! Yep, he's waving at us. I am ignoring you. Oh, God. Do we really have to? Oh, God, okay. So, yeah, Hop is here, and he's being reinvigorated after getting his butt kicked by Bede. First that force, then that mad quiz. I've been lost in every sense of the word. But it looks like I finally caught up to you again. Come with me to Route 7. I could use a bit of competition to motivate me. Mm, okay. Alrighty. Motivation is the key. So, let's go right ahead and bring out some Pokemon right here. So like I said before guys, off screen I put my Pokemon in uh, a bit of a predicament, well, not in a predicament, but I did put them in Pokemon jobs to gain more levels. Now after winning the fifth badge, the amount of points that you get increased dramatically, like about 17 or 1500 or 15,000 points to 20,000 points. That is a lot of points to get in a Pokemon. Now if I were to show you what, well I'm going to show you right now. I think I should, and uh, well, before I do anything, I think I need to check onto this guy right here because yes, he does sell TMs. These are the TMs that he actually sells: Thunder Fang, Mega Kick, Mega Punch. So this is an actual good place to actually go to, to you know, to actually get some good Pokemon. Now, like I was saying before, guys, you guys should check out this right here: the boxes that I have. Now, I did reorganize my thing. I did evolve quite a few Pokemon. I did keep the spare team to my sword team. As you can see, this is the sword team. But, as you can see, I got level 69 Toxicity or to Toxicity. I don't even know how to pronounce these guys' names. But, you can see my Pokemon's levels are through the roof, including the ones that I have in different other boxes. This is what happens when you use Pokemon jobs, guys. Trust me, it's better than rare candies. It really is. So, anywho, let's continue on and move on to Route 7. And finally hit Sir Chester. Yes, Sir Chester. No town, no nothing or anything. And I am getting messages because why not get messages? So, here we are. And look at the view right here, man. This is uh, amazing. Just amazing right here. So, continuing on. Try not to go so fast, guys. If you see a little bit of a glitter or glow, you're going to be finding some wings right here. And, of course... Yeah, this guy right here is waiting for us. All right, Draven. You and I know both. Uh, you and I both know I've got to keep trying different strategies if I'm going to get strong enough to catch up to Lee. No, not just catch up. If I want to surpass him. So I think you know what's coming, mate. Let me try out my latest. Uh, my latest in a battle against you. Okay. So here it is. You're going to be taking on uh, Trainer Hop, of course. He says surpass his brother, but yeah, he hasn't surpassed me in any bit of the word right here. So, let's go with Drago right here. Guy that I got from uh, Pokemon, uh, my Pokemon Sword. And this guy's saying that this is his greatest, greatest team ever. So, let's go right ahead and use this Dragon Claw. Remember, big old tree mother lover right here, Trevenant, is a ghost type Pokemon. So, just be aware of that. And, well, here comes a Shadow Claw. Looking all mean and everything. It was a critical hit. So, this guy is like, consider the possibility of your opponent might land a critical hit. Yes. You know what? Let's go with the next scissors. See how that works because it's a grass type Pokemon too. And that takes a nice amount. And here comes a Confuse Ray. Good gravy. Come on, Drago. Come on. 
Oh my god, I hate you. Okay, so let's go right ahead. Dragon Claw, please do not hurt me. And of course, he's gonna he's gonna heal his Pokemon. How am I having this much trouble with this guy if I, my Pokemon surpass him in every bit of the word? So here we go, Dragon Claw, finish him. Not really. You know what? Screw it. We're gonna switch it out. Let's go with our strongest Pokemon right now, Krakatoa. Let's get it. Okay, you're on it, Krakatoa. Let's get this. And, well, he's going to be coming out with his Shadow Claw. Not going to be super effective here, because Krakatoa is a tank. Alrighty, Heat Crash for the win. And look at this. Bam. Finish him. And he's like, <laughs> it reminds me of Lee. Buddy, I battle way better than Lee. And, well, just like that, we finish off his first Pokemon. We're getting more experience points. And he's going to be coming out with a Bolton. So let's go ahead and switch him out. Actually, you know what? Let's keep, let's keep Krakatoa right here. All right, Bolton. Of course, we do have Big Booty Balto to help us out right here. So let's go with a Smackdown. Laying it the smack it down on that Bolton's ass. Look at that. And here comes a Roar Attack. You just made a big mistake right there, buddy. Because here comes out Marcel, the Mr. Mime. The Galarian Mr. Mime. And this guy right here is going to be going with a freeze-dry attack. So here we go. Freeze-dry, tap dance. And there you go. Say goodbye to Boltut. Alrighty. Okay. So we're kicking butt. We're growing levels. And here's going to be coming out with a Cinderace. Let's go with Deadshot. Now, I do have Cinderace. I do have Cinderace. And I probably will be using him eventually, like, in, in this run, but... Yeah, look at this guy. Look at this guy. He's looking uh, all mean and everything, but guess what? Got myself the snipe shot. Now, what did I nickname Cinderace? Obviously, I nicknamed him Bex because of, uh, well, David Beckham, England, the motivation right here. United Kingdom, England. I don't know how to call it. Please do not yell at me. And look at that. All my Pokemon are growing levels. Beelzemon as well. Look at that. And Drago to level 44. And it wants to learn Dragon Dance. You know what? I am going to... You know what? It, it's going to have to happen. Yes. You know what? Let's take away Headbutt for the time being and just give it Dragon Dance. Just to be a little more strategic magic. Alrighty. And Krakatoa grows to level 50. And he's going to be coming out with a Snorlax. I got the Pokemon for the job right here. Let's go Ivan Drago. Okay. Alrighty. Alrighty. Let's go, Drago. Alrighty, alrighty. What do we got here? Snorlax looking all beefy and everything. And well, let's go. Uh, let's let's use Dragon Dance uh, for a few a uh, few times right here because we want to be strong. We want to be incredible. This is gonna be a big, big, big physical attack. And of course, here comes a Body Slam. So we kind of walked into that one right there. And no, we are not paralyzed. So let's go ahead use the Dragon Claw right here. And this one takes a nice amount. And here comes another Body Slam. And that right there paralyzes us. Good gravy. Okay, so we got to switch Pokemon right now. Let's go ahead and use Blitzkrieg. I know, I know. I'm using all kinds of Pokemon right here. But I kind of want to just, uh, yeah, I kind of want to be a little bit more creative. And, and just beat this guy the most creative way possible. And there comes another Body Slam. So... Let's go with a poison jab. Hopefully it poisons this guy right here. Oh yeah, look at that, look at that. And nearly beats him, but poisons him. Yeah. And here comes a stockpile attack. Do not know why you're using that. And it's increasing its defense right here. So it gets hurt. Bit poison, and there it is. Blitzkrieg just wins. Oh yes. And, well, he's got one more Pokemon left, so let's see what he got. He's got a heap more. Okay. I know how to beat you right here. Let's go, Deadshot. Let's get a Deadshot. Alrighty. Deadshot looking all mean. And he's like, I'm the kind of guy that gets fired up in a win these situations. Yeah, you don't. You really don't. Especially against me. No, you don't. Now, if it seems like I'm being like a cocky, you know what? It's because this guy right here, he he makes me cocky. He makes me want to be cocky because, dude, shut up. You're living off the coattails of your brother. Shut up. 
And look at that. More experience points. And how you like that, Trainer Hop. Eat it. And so, this is rubbish. My team can't perform if I can't get my get uh, get my own head straight as a, as their trainer. Well, you could stop talking about your legacy, you surpassing your brother. I mean, there's a whole list of things. I don't even know. Before we even started out in this on this journey, I remember watching Lee on the telly. He was like a bright star, so strong I could hardly bear to look at him right. But now I can just tell how uh, how strong he really is, and that's what he's got, and I have it. But I'm getting stronger too. Maybe not as fast as you, but fine, whatever. Thanks for letting me battle you again. And here, I'll heal you up your Pokemon too. Uh, that's well, at least he's useful for that one right there. I mean, shoot. <laughs> okay. I think I know. Uh, I think I know what I what it is I really want. I want to battle Lee. I want to take on my bro. But not just that. I want to beat him. I want to be the one that beats the unbeatable champion, and I'm going to. My mind's made up. You and me are going to have another battle once I get the gym badge in Ch in Sir Chester. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I know. Okay, so that is that for him. And, well, here we are in Route 7. And you're going to be looking at some interesting Pokemon right here. And I thought that I was going to evolve Drago. Screw it. We got the means. We got the stuff. So let's go right ahead and use... Uh, let's use two of the rare candies that we have right here. So here we go. Giving it to Drago. And look at that, level 45. Ladies and gentlemen, Digivolution time. Drago is evolving yet again. Now, I've been waiting for this for quite some time, guys. Now, I, I did say, this is a Pokemon that I wanted to use in Sun and Moon, and this is because komo -Oh. This Pokemon right here is a tank when it comes to defense. It is a fighting-type Pokemon as well. Look at this. Komo -Oh, the scaly Pokemon, both dragon and fighting type Pokemon. Certain ruins have patents of ancient warriors wearing armor made of Komo -Oh scales. This guy is a beast when it comes to, you know, just battling and all that stuff. And here it's learning clanging scales. A very, very good move right here. Very good dragon type move, I think. Yes. This one right here has the ability. Well, this. Well, it's basically this. The user rubs the scales on its entire body and makes a huge noise to attack opposing Pokemon. The user's defense goes down after the attack. That is the only drawback. I am just going to take away Dragon Dance for the time being because, you know what? It's, uh, it, it's not really useful for me right now. But as you can see, it learned a new move. Now, I do have another Pokemon that will be evolving. So, actually, not going to give Drago that. Let's go with Bielzamon right here. Bam, level 42, and just like that, Beelzemon is evolving. Oh, yeah. Let's get it. Two evolutions in one episode, and here it is, guys, Grimmsnarl. This is a Pokemon that is freaking legit when it comes to battling. I don't care what anybody says. I like this Pokemon right here. So let's go ahead and take a look at Grimmsnarl. The bulk up Pokemon, dark and fairy type, pretty awesome Pokemon right here. Its hairs work like muscle fibers. When its hairs unfurl, they latch up onto tent uh, to opponents, un ensnaring them as the ten tentacles would. Cannot read, but guess what? Got it. And well, it's learning Spirit Break, a very very damn good move right here. And it looks like to me, I am going to eliminate one of these these moves right here. So let's see. Stimulates the brain by thinking bad thoughts. You know what? Let's go. Let's see. It is a special attacker as well. So let's go ahead and take away Torment. Doesn't really need it. But there it is, guys. Grimmsnarl. What's up? Alrighty. Okay. So we're having a team right here. A great team. Fully evolved and all that stuff. I cannot wait. I cannot wait to actually use them. So what we're going to do is we're going to use Grimmsnarl right here. And we're going to start battling. Let's go. As a model, I'll show off my apparel of my Pokemon. Hmm, okay. Alrighty. The apparel of her Pokemon. So here we go, guys. You are challenged by Model Myla. And she would like to battle you. Because she's a model. And she's awesome. Alrighty. Model Myla. Wanted to battle us. And she's coming out with her own Ribombi. Well, Beelzemon's going to be using its Corona Destroyer. Believe it or not, that's kind of why I named this Pokemon Beelzemon, because Corona Destroyer and Crap Baskets, we're getting our butts kicked now. 
Here we go, Spirit Break. And there goes Ribobi. Yeah, buddy. Alrighty, okay. And then, let's see, Vespa Queen. That is looking like a, a very nasty Pokemon right there. So let's go ahead and go with Krakatoa right here. Vespa Queen. What a good looking Pokemon. What a damn good Pokemon. Alrighty, Vespa Queen. One of these mean ass Pokemon right here. And well, let's go ahead and use Heat Crash for the win. Let's get it. Heat Crash. Say goodbye, Vespa Queen. Oh man, we're, we're we're kicking some butt. We are kicking butt right here, guys. Oh yes, and Marcel grows to level 47. Do not know what level it evolves. I'm probably I need my phone for that one right there. But we defeated the model, and whoa! Just like that, Marcel is evolving. Three evolutions in one episode. Kind of wow. This is awesome, guys. And look at that. Galarian Mr. Mime evolves into Mr. Rhyme. Look at that guy. Oh my god. Okay, so take a look at this, guys. Mr. Rhyme, the comedian Pokemon. Its amusing movements make it a very popular. It releases its psychic power from the pattern of its belly. Hmm. And it looks like a smile right there, too. And does it learn a move? No, it doesn't. But let's go ahead and start using Mr. Rhyme right here. Let's go ahead. So... Yeah, Pokemon Shield, we have a fully evolved team. Awesome. Very awesome. Grab this item right here. Here we are getting an ether and well, let's see. Where are we going? Well, we got some team uh yell people right here. He's like, "You can't silence team yell." She's cute. She's tough. She's she won't take no guff. What the hell? Who are Marnie? She's our Marnie. Huh. Yeah, don't say. Okay, so usually when they're there, you can't do anything and good gravy. Oh, jeebus. Well, well, when that happens, you you better run away real quickly. But guess what? We're going to run away because we do not want a piece of that. None of that. Okay, so let's see. Any other Pokemon? There is a, uh, well, what you might call it, uh, a thievel. And there's this guy looking at us. Being a taxi driver means I've got to be ready anytime, anywhere. Pokemon battles are the same anytime, anywhere. You don't say. Okay, so here we go. Cabby Bruce would like to battle us. Let's see what this guy's got. Uh, let's see what this guy's all about. Take it all about. You do the hokey pokey and ya da 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 da. That's what it's all about. Alrighty, so here we have Mr. Ryan versus Corvus Squire. Let's use that Ice Shard right here. Ice Shard doing the thing. And look at that. Corvus Squire has been defeated. Happy. Very, very happy. Oh, yeah. And, well, let's see. Actually, we're, let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon right here now. Let's go. Let's just continue with Marcel, and he's going to come out with a rough wet right here. Okay, alrighty. Let's go ahead and use another Ice Shard. And, well, there we go. Ice Shard does its thing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, we're winning. We're kicking butt. We're taking names. Alrighty. And uh, well, that, that that pretty much does it right there for this guy. So now let's go right ahead and uh, continue this whole thing right here. Let's see. We're sneaking. We're sneaking. We don't want to get a, 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 any attraction from Pokemon, but as you can see, you got some fully evolved Pokemon right here, and uh, you don't want to mess with it. And here comes a Berserker. So. Do not want to mess th with that. That's one. Thank God he actually pauses. And there's two. And here we go. Three. Let's go. And there we go. Okay. So now, let's get the heck out of... Okay. Come on. And get the heck out of here. Good gravy. Chases me. Oh, crap. Okay. So let's go straight to Route 8 right here. Yes, guys. Here we are. Route 8. And, well... Let's see. I kind of want to I kind of want to save this one for the next episode. So I hope you had an experience right here guys. We're going to be putting a little bit more episodes into Pokémon Sword and Shield and all that crud for the week since, you know, we will be we will have already been done with the main game of Pokémon Fire Red and uh, Sapphire. So yes, more episodes, Sword and Shield, all that fun stuff. 
Thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys next time.